it's Tuesday 15th of March 22 off the deer so I'm just having to walk along the river so far just to get some fresh air I was sick of being cooped up in the house so I thought I'll get out and make a little video see what's happening along the river well at least I picked it up put it in the bag <laughs> the shopping trolley you still doing there lying upside down river looks nice and calm that yeah well I can see of it from here Not a bad day anyway. It's quite warm. Might be a bit breezy down by the river like but uh but we'll see. Just stand on a little bridge. I mentioned that the other week thinking that it would always be full of water but it's not bone dry the deer nice to get down by the river like ground's pretty dry as well so that's not too bad I've just seen a pair of dippers breeding. Now I've seen two together before. And uh, obviously when I tried to film them they just disappeared. They're only little birds anyway so it's pretty hard to zoom in on them with three times zoom. That's a very close. Aye, the river's not flowing quick now. Like it was last time I come here. And it's getting a bit breezy, you can maybe see here on the microphone as well. Love Lock Bridge, quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten on that side, ten on that side. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Look at this one here. In loving memory, Mum. That's lovely, that. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. And there's my padlock from Hazel. 23 Concert Blogger 2021 Over the other side of the river There's a new glamp in sight I was there A week ago And I'm going back shortly to do a little job for the people that has a glamp in sight. At the moment they've only got two pods or whatever you call them. Um, but I believe they're going to have four, maybe so six, eventually. Can't see much of it for the trees really. 
and it opens on the 1st of April or oh, that's the plan anyway they've got a Facebook page I can't quite remember the name of it but you, if you just Google for if you just Google for um, Shotley, Bri Shotley Bridge Glamping you'll find it so yeah I'm going back there shortly well we'll see what's like at the uh, at the staircase today I've just sat down on this little seat looks like somebody's had a campfire here bottle of Stella empty cans lying all over the place so they've had a bit of a fire and a drink I wouldn't normally be able to sit here unless you climb over the gate but somebody's disposed of the fence which is the usual thing hence they had to put metal bars up over there because it kept smashing the fence I'm now why they just didn't leave things alone like I'm now at the other side, that's where I was sitting before, over there, on the little seat. Shame they knocked the fence down like. But, need stopping them, they need to put some cameras up, that's what they need to do. Fasten some cameras on trees or something. That'll catch a marrot. Couple behind us, the the guy just says, uh, "Have you got anything to do with a fishing club?" I went, "No." Why, like? Oh, he says, "Just I thought you were just like eyeing up the water levels and stuff like that." I says, "No, no I'm just making a video." fishing club I've never fished since I was about 12 not my kind of thing fishing people love it like like the day everything else but not my kind of thing I'm gonna have another five on this little seat here when it's a nice day just have a bit relax there's a duck gun along the river. They'll be all nesting for long. I must get myself away to the Fawn Islands this year, during breeding season. Be nice just to have a have a trip over there, get some great pictures of the birds. That's them there. They're just uh, just stopped and had a bit chat. The reason he was asking is because he's just joined the fishing club and uh, he says I was just I thought you might have been a fisherman and that. I says nah. I says there's not much in here anyway. Not any size. I don't know. I says well I've seen lots of people catching fish over the years and they're just six inches long or something couldn't even eat them on out you know yearlings as he called them yearlings so i think i'll make this day and head back over it's canny dear
Covid is a lie. Now then. So, somebody reckons Covid is a lie. There's Dolly. Hello Dolly. I don't know how, what I don't know how to eat grass when there's hardly out there. Munch, 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 two of them. I think that one's pregnant actually. Looks like it. Very fat on the on the stop stomach end. Well, I'm back on the bridge. Almost done. A couple of women just... I just passed a couple of women there. Um, with dogs. And she sent a dog across the bridge, round the corner. And it had a crap. Obviously she didn't see it, like. So when she got up to me, because I waited for them over there to get off the bridge, I says, your dog's just had a poo there. Oh no, I thought, oh no, what you expected to do, like? It's what you bring them out for. Anyway, she picked it up. So I thought the best point her out, considering not the type of thing I'd eat. Just what does she do with a bag, I wonder. There's the Morrison shopping trolley. Come a long way from the top of concert that. Right, well, not the end of this one. Nearly back. Just parked around the corner. So, uh, tomorrow I think what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll take my camera. Uh, not tomorrow. When I go to that glamping thing, I'll take my camera and make a bit of video. Everybody can have a look at it. You know, somebody might be seeing it from down the country and think, oh, wouldn't mind a few days up there. And uh, I'll get some information for you. I'll put a, a link after I've done it, like. I'll put a, uh, a link in the description about the website and stuff like that. Right, thanks for watching anyway, and bye for now.